Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and um, I have a very special guest with me. Who have I got with me? It's his lovely wife. You are Amy. Amy, Amy yes. Um, so you may have noticed that I didn't post anything today, and that's because we are doing stuff to our house, and therefore the office space that I use is also now the bedroom space, which means <laughs> I didn't want to wake you up last night, which is why I didn't record anything. Well, that was very thoughtful. Yeah, you're a wonderful person. And but, wise. Yes, but now, now it's the other way around. You have to help me, and so we're going to have you building a rocket here, right? Okay. You're a rocket scientist? Absolutely, of course. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. You do that all the time. It, it's just like uh, cooking, right? You need the right mm -hmm. equipment. So you, you know how to use a computer, right? I think so. Yeah, okay, so uh, click on the, go into the, the base there, right? You see the vehicle assembly building in the middle? It's the big tall building. With this one? Yeah. Okay. That's, see, his vehicle, VAB. Right, so I click on it? Yes. Right. Now, so this is where you build rockets. You're in. You're in! So, uh, do you know how to build a rocket? Uh, not really. Well, why don't you just guess? I think it guess? has some thrusty things underneath. Okay, and... yeah. <laughs> well, just think, if you're built, do you know how to build a car? Definitely not. Okay. Um, could you imagine what parts are important for a car? Well, well first, first thing is you need to build a, need pick a first part for your thing, right? And the part well, is... Well, I where, think we could skip the wheels. Yeah, but you, you know what you really need to do is have the, the place where your pilot sits. Is this sits. the thing? Is that, what is that? Uh... It's a command pod Mark One, originally built as a placeholder for the demonstration mock-up of a command rocket. Command pod. I yeah. have no idea what that is. It's, it's a capsule. Okay. Where your pilot oh, sits. people go inside there. Yeah, that's okay. a space probe. So what do I start with? Well, you probably should start with some sort of command pod or something. That's oh, okay, one. that was a good one? That's a real, that's a All solid right, one. Now click right. it, click it once, and you'll pick it up. Okay. Do click, I have click it? Click it. And, oh, there, you got it. Now you got it. So you okay. could so pick that up. So you take it somewhere? Yeah, it's there. You can okay. build your rocket underneath it. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. And then... And then if you go to all these other tabs, there's all these other bits and pieces. And if you mouse over, you'll see things. Control. Control. Uh, propulsion. propulsion. Yes, we need some of you that. You need some go upper power, as they say. How about Rocco Max? A Rocco Max mainsail. That will work. No? N well, uh, that needs fuel. Uh-huh. That's a Can't pretty. That, that? I, I like the fact that you went for the biggest engine right away. <laughs> I think that looked, I, I like you. It looked good for me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but you do need some fuel, unfortunately. Okay. So oh, I think if that's you, a problem. Well, that that thing won't go very far without any fuel. In fact, it'll just sit around like a city rounded. I would thingy. think you would need fuel for just about anything, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So. Okay. What? Why don't you? If you look, if you go down the bottom there and onto page two, you can. You can see this. Oh, you've you've got one. What? Yeah, there's page two. You've got some fuel tanks there, and pa right. actually page one, page one again. <laughs> oh, okay. These are all aviation fueled. You don't want aviation fuel. Right. How about this one? That is a turbojet. Is that good? It's good if you're building a plane. Okay. And it's not a plane. It's not a plane, although it will How fly. How about this like one? That is an aerospike. That is the cutting edge of rocket technology. Unfortunately, it also needs fuel. It's not so cutting edge that it doesn't need fuel. Well, we're, are we not going to have any fuel? What do you think a fuel tank looks like? Hmm. Take a look at the, win the the options there. What would you build a fuel tank like? <laughs> Down the bottom! Oh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> these! These here! They're all fuel tanks! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There, that looks like it would carry a bunch of stuff. Yes, it will. It will carry. Okay, so it, do we have to start with that? Uh, no, you can stick uh, stick it on the bottom of your. Um, I thought I saw a child. Uh, yeah, Sky is like poking her head through. Sky gets to bed again. Now, I think you need to. Um, I, I yes, that that is a fuel tank. That is also a fuel tank. You can see it says mass. It tells you how much fuel it has. Mm -hmm. So that's so what you know. You pick it up and stick it on the bottom and see how much it has. Right, or see how big it looks. Click it. Oh, you dropped it again. Click it. Now go drag it over. You see, you can attach it to your oh, rocket. Okay. Right. That's a dinky little fuel tank, that. Is it? It's kind of small. Really? It, it's kind of like the... It's as big as the capsule. It's bigger. as big as... The, it is. It is. Um, that that would be fine if you were building a car, but uh, not so good if you were building a rocket. Okay, so I need bigger? Do you I might, have to put this back? No, you can, can, just, you can just stack on? them underneath, okay. yeah. Right. How about this one? Should I try and make it look pretty? You could, Pretty is always a good goal. 
Uh, you can also pick up the capsule and make it bigger if you think you need more room underneath it. Radial mount liquid engine. That's yeah, those are engines you attach to the working on the fuel. Yeah. How about this one? I like the texture y there. Okay, yeah, it's kind of small, unfortunately. All right. All right. Do we need more? Uh, it depends how far you want to go. How far do you want to go? Um, Far. Far, like... I don't know. What are the sites available? Well, I mean, you know, you have you have extreme levels of go upperness in this. So you can mm. go, you can go in suborbital. You can go orbital. You can even go interplanetary, if mm -hmm. you like. That'd that, be cool. To that would be cool. You're going to need a lot of fuel then. So I would I would make more room underneath your thing. You why don't oh. you try, why don't you just try sticking an engine on and seeing how this thing flies, right? All right, but um. You gotta pick one. Of your, you're gonna go for the mainsail again. Yeah, I like that. One. Okay, well, that, <laughs> it goes on the bottom there. See where the green blobs are? Yeah, <laughs> there. This is not the most attractive rocket ever. One. It looks like um, the robot from Lost in Space, kind of. Oh, Robbie the robot. Yeah. Did you ever watch that as a kid? I never saw it, but I do was a big fan of Forbidden Planet. I did. I remember yes. Robbie. Yes, Robbie the Robot. Of course, there's, I didn't remember his name. There's all these other bits and pieces here you might want to look at. You might want to flick through and see if there's some bits and pieces that look cool to you, like on the top. You've, we've looked at propulsion. That's okay. very important. All right. There's science. There's, a, there's oh, utility really? stuff, which has parachutes. Have Aerodynamic, that always seems fun. Yeah, that has wings. You can stick wings in your rocket if you like. Mm. Alright, what's that? That is an air intake thingy. That's, I don't know. I don't know what that is, actually. It says an engine body, but... It, it flaps and cowls to help cool air breathing. High performance engines. In fact, it doesn't actually do very much, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's mostly a, it's a looky good bit. Weight. Yeah. How about that? That's a, that's a steery thing. Um, so if you're going to do that, I would press the X button. Put it on the side of the capsule. Okay. No, no, put it like as if you're attaching it to the side. Oh. Pick it up. It's not coming with me. Yeah, if we click it once oh, and then yeah. let, okay. no, no, if you move it up, it'll turn green. <laughs> oh, green, oh. green is oh, no. when it's attached, you okay. see? Okay. Right. right, so you can pick that up. Right, now try m m pushing it onto the side. Where the mouse cursor is is where it actually starts joining. Oh. There, you see, now move it up a little. And you'll see, there, you see, it turns green because it's attached. Okay. Right? This is a really bad idea what you're doing, but really? that's okay. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of complicated aerodynamic reasons why what you're doing isn't quite a good idea, but just just it's let's like persevere with there. this. Oh, there, okay. There, right. but you, you know what you've done is you've only put on one, right? You need another one. You need no one way to do it is you can automatically make it add two two if you go and pick it up. Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah, click pick it up and now move it back to where it starts to connect, and then push push the X key. Oh. You see, it it adds more. Okay. Uh, but you got to move it up a little, I think, because it's colliding. They both have to go green. Yeah, you see? Okay. So, okay, so now you've got okay. two on there. Oh, okay. okay. Um, yeah. Also, you might want to look under the the one that looks like the utility. There's parachutes under there. Okay. That's the fun. That's a extra found, large. Found lying by the side yeah, of the road. Yeah. Yeah. They don't manufacture very much, or at least if people do, they kind of discard them. Um. Well, sure. Why not? <laughs> why? Why not? Well, well. There. It, yes, that's okay. it. Okay. I I think you have you have enough that you should maybe try flying this. It looks it looks like a deluxe trash can. <laughs> it, it it does. I, oh, one last thing is to go in and adjust your staging here. So do click the little plus sign. Oh, click okay. the little plus. Yeah, and then pick up the rocket engine and drag it down to one. No, no, no. Here on the side. There, drag, click, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. grab that icon, oh, click, okay. and then drag it down. Oh, oh, you did, you almost had it. No, it's the parachute, not the parachute, not the parachute. Oh, okay. This one. Yeah, the rocket. Oh. There you go. Where am I going to put it? There? Just right there. Okay. Yes. So that means that that will fire as your first stage. So now okay. you can try launching this and try flying it. So this is the green icon in the top right. Please don't say you're colorblind. With this one? Yeah. Okay. Launch. Launch. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do I... I clicked on it. it but... It's thinking. It says loading. See in the bottom right? Look at this. Magn and you have Jebediah Kerman. You know who he is, right? 
No. He's only the best astronaut ever. Okay. Okay, so so what you're going to do is press space bar, which will activate your thingy. So now that's your engine fired up. Now, if you hold the shift key, it will increase your thrust. Now, wait a second. I would get your fingers near the keyboard because okay. you're going to have to steer this. Right. So Q, W, uh, all these keys turn you, right? And okay. these keys adjust your thrust. So that's all, that should be all you need to that's know. That's not very <laughs> helpful, really. Oh, yeah. Just, okay, so space bar? No, you've, oh, no, you've oh, now wait. just deployed the parachute. Oh, shit. Why don't you just push shift and, and like, thrust and oh, see shift. what happens? Shift, yeah. There, oh, look okay. at you flying with your parachute attached. Whoa. Doesn't, uh oh. What happened there? Oh, uh, you know, you should. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you didn't even touch the control keys, did you? I didn't. I just. What? Why don't we mesmerized? You were mesmerized by the physics. Oh, and I killed Jebediah Kerman. Yes. Um, it's terrible. But he comes back. You see. Oh, good. Okay. So why don't we try that again? Why don't we try All doing right. it without okay. firing the parachute? Okay. So hit the space bar to activate the engine, and then throttle up using the shift key. Come on, you can do it. Throttle up. You see, this is your throttle indicator at the side. There you go. Okay. Now you're totally. Oh. oh. Oh, what do we and, do now? Uh, we've run out of fuel. Oh no! That was so you tough. could try steering it. Um, I'm not sure where you could steer it. Look, oh, water, try maybe? keeping it pointing. <laughs> Actually, water is more deadly here than oh, land. Okay. There's a finite chance that if you hit the is land, you'll survive. Having, oh wait, this S does something. A S pulls up. Um, okay. I would hit spacebar really soon. Wait, do I have to keep hitting the shift button? No, oh, no, wait, no, no sh um, shift. It, it's just like a, an Excel. It's like um, it's like a lever. There, okay. Well, look, you I can't you go up anymore. Yeah, we can time accelerate down to the ground. Uh, so so you you went up, but you ran out of fuel very quickly. <clears throat> so obviously we need more fuel. Hey, look, he came back to the earth. Or planet Did I kill Jebediah again? No, he's still there. Oh, okay. Look, well, you can get him out. Well, if you see, like. I'm improving. Yeah. Oh no, hatch is obstructed. You can't exit. If you roll, yeah, you can't get him out. Oh no. Actually, you might not be able to get out because. Oh no, you can't get him out because he's stuck under there. Look, if you press the C key, you can actually look up. See? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, you can see through this window. You can see that the ground is there. Uh-huh. So he can't get out because he's stuck against the ground. So you gotta turn it over. Yeah, maybe he can get out now. No, they won't let him out. Well, let, why don't we go and build this a little better, huh? Okay. Uh, uh, teach me. Oh. Te teach you? I'm, teach I'm, 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 no, no, I'm, I'm gonna let you fail in your own hilarious way. That is, oh, that I is see. the Kerbal way. Okay. Okay, so why don't we... Um, first thing I would suggest is that you're going to make this rocket a bit bigger, right? Bigger. Taller. Bigger. Taller. Okay. You're going to embiggen this whole thing. So you need are space... Are we going to start over again, or are we going to just take some I, I think off? we can continue to ruin this one. Okay. So I would say you need more space underneath. So I would pick up the capsule. with so Just the capsule is oh, the top... Is the, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. That right, yeah pick one. that up, and then we'll just... Scroll up so you can have more space underneath to embiggen your oh, rocket. Oh, wow, you're really thinking big here. Yeah, okay. I am thinking big here. Okay, all right. I'm stay. always thinking big. Okay, all so right. now uh, I think what you really should think about... Okay, actually, you... Oh, wait, what did I do? <laughs> uh, you did a whole lot of things. Why don't you get rid of that giant engine for now? Because you're going to need to put more fuel tanks under there. Uh, which one was the engine? That that giant mm. rocket engine shaped thing is the engine. This thing? Yeah. There. Just stick it to the side for now. Okay. And that tiny little fuel tank, yeah, it does look kind of mm. cool, but... Right. Yeah. It, you probably need... It's not very big. It's kind of it's kind of a baby Should fuel tank. Should we just tank. put it back? We might even want to put it out of its misery or something. And we just put it elsewhere. Just delete. No, you just pick it up and drag <laughs> it somewhere. Okay. Deleted. Okay. okay. Why don't you go into your your second one? tab? No, that's the that's a probe. You're not building space probes. <laughs> not yet. Propulsion? No. Yeah. So you can. Why don't you pick right. pick out bigger fuel tanks or something? There you go. That's a that's a bigger fuel tank. Okay. Um, how many of those do you think? We, well, we could do. 
Do I press it? Page up and down is Page the one. Yeah. Do we have to do the same one? You could. Uh, well, you can. It's best to keep everything roughly the same uh -huh. matched size. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> oh, but it won't line up because. Oh, there. Yeah, that, that isn't. Okay. <laughs> So you've got something of a tra that doesn't look like the most aerodynamic vehicle no. I've ever seen. <laughs> it does like it looks like a water heater. <laughs> a water heater. Yes, yeah, speaking of which, you know, we're so um <laughs> we're so squished down here that I have my telescope sitting right next to yeah, the desk. It, does. And it, it looks just like it your looks, telescope. It looks just like my telescope like a <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where we should A giant that thing. cylinder. <laughs> It is a 12-inch uh, Newtonian reflector. Um, so look, just, just, yes, okay. Can so we you, just add some other stuff to make it more aerodynamic? Sure. One, you need to add an engine again, because aerodynamics doesn't matter if you don't have an engine. That's right. Okay. Uh, propulsion. No, no, propulsion. Propulsion's there, yeah. Okay. That's uh, a jet engine. jet engine. Yeah. Rotating fins to enable be? limited range thrust vectoring. This engine is suitable for normal cruising speeds and altitudes. What is normal cruising speeds? And, I, I, and for a rocket, <laughs> it wouldn't be like it, it, it probably wouldn't work going into space. That, you, that's a that's a rocket engine. It probably doesn't have enough thrust to lift that orange tank. So you might need lots of them. That would work. The smaller sibling of the mainsail. This uh, skipper's power rivals that of large cities. Oh, put, here, where do I put it? Oh, down at the bottom. Down on its butt. Yeah, okay. and you probably want to see those fins. It's getting really big now. Yeah, I would take those fins and put stick them further back. There's a technical reason for this, to do with center of miss, lift versus center of mass and you all care? these things. Yeah, how about they look, that? They look good there. They look good down there. Okay. Um, then I like the big parachute on the front there. Do you think we're ready to fly yet, or do you want to put some more cool stuff on? No. Um. Why don't you put some, like, external rockets on it or something? Like stages. I don't know. What does that mean? Right, um, if you look under the little crane icon, up the top left, the little crane. Yes. Now you have these things called lateral decouplers. No, oh, that's a that's for building space stations. Down the bottom, these ones. So, di ooh, hydraulic detachment manifold. No, no, get. <coughs> Where does it say lateral decoupler? It's not in that one. Go oh. to the one next to it. Oh, the radial decoupler. Sorry, or okay. lateral, lateral, radial. Okay. Go to the other one on the far right. Detachment manifold. Yeah. Yeah, radial decal. That one's okay. okay. That looks good. Yeah, so now stick that, dra drag that over and stick it into the space between those things. Between those fins. Oh, there. Uh, okay. You see how it's making four of those? Move it sideways. Oh. Move it to the right. Move your mouse right. Oh, again, one more step. Oh, there. one more step. Aha! Click. Okay. Now, look, if you look at that from the top, you can use the right button to turn the... Like, you can see that you're lined that up really rather nicely there. Yeah, I'm S good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know, you ever mention that? Must her. be the excellent instruction. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you're just a natural. Hey. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you did say you didn't want any cameras because you needed to get a your hair done. Uh, why, don't we st <laughs> why don't we stick some more awesome, powerful rockets on there? Oh, no, that's not fair. You can't tell people I didn't want cameras. You can, they Why can not? seize their imaginations. Well, you know, you are like, you know, a goddess. <laughs> hey, don't deny it. Uh, go to the propulsion. Come on. Come on. So what, do you, what kind of engines do you want to put on here, right? These are, the, these are the ones that you kind of, you know the space shuttle that has these things that strap onto the side and then it ditches them? You can do all sorts of things like that. Mm -hmm. Just uses them and loses them. It uses them, uses them out, wears them out, tosses them aside. How about the Rocco Max? Um, that's not really designed for this. I mean, okay. you, you can put that somewhere, but it'll be kind of silly. Uh, I mean, I'm perhaps this is the thing. I'm kind of too sane, uh, too uh, no too much. You could build other little rockets on the side, like with fuel tanks, if you like, or 
you could put just strap on solid rocket motor motors. So you either need a fuel tank or an SRB solid rocket booster to attach to those. All right, that sailed right over my head there. Okay, it needs to be something cylindrical looking. Okay. Do you know what a cylinder looks like? Yes, I think that helps me. Okay, you're gonna use that. <laughs> Why are you going for the? Uh, I don't that, know. That's kind the of the largest tank available. Yeah, is that? A good idea. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. You're gonna put four of those on the side. No, you attach it to the side of those things. What? Attach oh it to God. those things that you just put what on. What is it doing? It's it's making four off them, where you tell it to. Okay. You're gonna. Oh, here. No, no, no. On those things that you're just attached. Right. Move there. the mouse over to touch touch the bit where where it attaches. Ah, oh, there you see. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's you added four big fuel tanks that on the side. That just looks so fun. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. Were you going to put some engines on those? <laughs> oh, okay. They need their own engines. Yeah, well, you because you put something so okay. big on. Where, let's see. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the engines there, propulsion. Okay. You could use How about a, these? Um, those wouldn't get very far. You could probably put lots on if you like. Rocco Max. Skipper. Skipper. Are you going to do that? Oh, do I need to... What did you just do? Page, Page up and down, yeah. Move okay. you up and down. Right. Or the mouse wheel works. <coughs> now you're going to grab it. Oh, I thought I had it. Okay. Uh, nope. Which one was it? This one? That would work. Either that or you can try and... You're, we're not going to get... A monster of an engine. Monster of an I engine. I like it. Yes, okay. Right. You might want to fix your staging here on the side as well so that this main engine doesn't fire, you know... Um, so... This, that one there, add, press the plus sign just above that. So that, you, again, you have everything split into stages. Okay. No, no, take the, the, um, the rocket and drag it down. Click. And drag. Yes! Click. Okay, we're ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. Okay, so you're going to fly it this time, right? space bar, that was how we did Yeah, that. yeah, but you actually want to press the green button first to launch. Okay. Because we actually have to head out to the launch pad. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it looks so much better. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah. yeah. Much bigger, much, much bigger. very fast. You like the much bigger in the beginning well, I just thing? It should be interesting. It should be. So are you, you, what you can okay. do is... Jebediah. Jebediah. Right. I hope this is a better experience for you. Oh, oh, he'll really love it. Down. Look, he's smiling almost. <laughs> Just wait until the rocket okay. fires up. He loves it. Are we it. ready? Yeah. Right, here we go. Space now throttle up. Uh, arrow. Yep. That's uh, 100%. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Now, you better control it. Control uh, it. A no, you don't yeah. You don't need to hold shift. How do I control Let it? Let go of shift. Oh, okay. W-A-S-D. I would... Yeah. Push, push S. No, that's the wrong uh, way. S. Oh, push S. And oh, that seems to be good. Yeah, now Are stop pushing S. Yes. Oh. oh, oh no! You okay. oh, and oh, you overheated. Press space to ditch those and and then fire up your engine quick. There, now point your rocket upwards and fire that engine um, again. This way. Yep. Yeah, yeah, press space. Uh, quick. There. Oh no! Wait. What no. Is it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that not didn't work so well, did it? Hard. Okay, so here's the trick. Watch this thing down the bottom for your steering, right? This is that's called the navigation ball. The nav ball. Let us restart the flight. And okay. now with your now that you're armed with the knowledge of the nav ball, mm -hmm. you will conquer. So but how do I use this lovely instrument? Well this this so when you're pushing S and W it controls you up in this the up and down axis. Uh -huh. And A and D control you in this axis. Okay. And Q oh, and E w. will rotate the whole thing, right? Wait. So don't you should only need W, A, S and D, right? So why don't you try firing up your engines now? Okay. Fire those engines. Right there. In fact, yeah, I wouldn't take 100% thrust. You know, so look, you're going over sideways, so press A. No, okay. no, A. Right, you push S to pull, pull up a little. D now, D. See, see, you want to keep it on the middle there. No, let, let go of D when you're... Oh, uh, A. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, yeah, you, you, you're quick, again. space. Space. And the space again. Oh. Right, now get yourself pointing upwards. So is it A? You, you want to keep, you want to try and get it to here, so you want to push. 
You want to fly it like a plane. Wait, wait. Haven't you ever flown a plane before? <laughs> Definitely not with W A S D. <laughs> oh, of course you've you've flown it with a real joystick yeah. before, obviously. Hold it, hold it. You're oh, you're you you're, to, you're okay. aim, when you're aiming to the brown, you're going down, right? <laughs> no. W W. Oh, you're no. in. The <laughs> no. Oh, it's not doing what I wanted to do. There, you saved oh. your capsule. Oh. Well, actually, I did because I. I a decided. lot of exploding things. Only when it's flown, you know, badly. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna get you up here, well, right? It's, but right. W A S and D, it's like it's not a directional thing. We can't they yes, just it's use totally the arrows. Um, well, it, it, you could use the arrows, but nobody uses the arrows. Oh. Just imagine it's like it's like W right W S A D right. It's just the same. Right, oh, it's in a oh, T shape. You see uh, how easy okay. that is, uh, and you yeah. just look at it here. Okay, here's <clears> the <throat> trick, though. You're you're going to 100% thrust, right? Because that makes those engines overheat. So you don't want to do that. So only take it up. See your thrust indicator. Bring it up to like only 80%, right? So it's down the bottom now. You can actually increase your thrust now. So why don't, you, why don't we practice that? Okay, Push the shift key. Good to increase your thrust. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm very. Uh, uh, don't, you know. I'm expert on that. So um, don't yeah, lose hold, track of your thoughts hold there. the shift key. Bring okay. yourself up to eighty percent throttle. Okay. There. Eighty. There. Oh wait. No no. S I hit this. Oh shift. Eighty percent. No no. Look. Eighty percent. Uh huh. Hold shift until you're at eighty percent. Oh. There. That's good. That's it. That's it. Now start steering. With these keys. I can't with, do it with that. Huh? You have oh, to use it seemed it. to do something, though. Yeah, that's fine. There, you see? Just... Oh, don't... Try to keep going this way, towards the center of this circle. <laughs> wait. Come on! No, wait, no! Wait, wait, wait. If you're pointing down, you Where's, will not oh, go to circle. space today. Okay. <laughs> the blue circle, not the orange circle. <laughs> this is not... There you go. Where quit. did my circle go? It's no, no. It's the circle, not the green circles. Just, just keep going upwards. Oh, okay. That now you're going to the ground again. What? <laughs> and the nav balls now. There, stop it spinning. <laughs> no, you gotta. The, the thing is, you gotta yeah, stop your rotation. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. 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 Listen. Why don't we put some, like, a computer on this to help you a little? Okay. Right, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building, which is conveniently highlighted for you. Okay. <laughs> so what is your experience with building rockets? Um... This is it, right? Is it gonna... is it... What? Oh, it's telling me everything It's telling you... It, yeah, it tell, told you that after 54 seconds, yep. your parachute crashed into the terrain and so did everything else. Well, there's probably somebody worse than me. There are people that are worse than you. My but, mother would definitely be way worse than me. But you, you know, you you remember the the moon landings, right? Yeah. Um, yes, I think so. Okay. So you know. Does that, does that mean I should know something about you? Sh you've seen more moon landings live than I ever have. Wow. <laughs> so there we go. Um. So one thing you could do is to add a computer that will hold your rocket straight if you tell okay. it to. So this might be what you need, right? Yes, definitely. I okay. need the, that gizmo. Yeah. So if you look under this star up the top, it's under controls. So click on the star icon. That's your control. Okay. And you want, there's something called ASAS. Advanced AR. Okay, so that's it. So you need to make room for it on your rocket, right? So you need to pull a couple of fuel tanks apart. Oh, um, so don't get it yet. That's well, you can click it and put it to the side, but you need to probably take that little fuel tank. There. No, no, the little... No, no, you don't want... Yeah, up. Do, the, do it right one. underneath your capsule, okay. right? Click it and drag it down a little. Okay. No, click it once and... You know. Oh, shit. <laughs> then move it down. There, you okay. see, in making room. Now you okay, can just stick it. in your special... Controly thingy, not that not the SAS. You that want one. the advanced SAS. Okay. They are, and then join the rocket back together. Look at that! You have just performed rocket there, surgery. See? You see? I am improving. Yeah, rocket surgeon. We are go. Okay. Green um, button for that's, launch. It's basically like auto drive. 
No, it'll just no, no, because it will auto drive, but it won't turn to avoid crashing into things. Um, what this will do is it will stop you spinning, and you know you'll then have to make some course corrections. But I think this might get over your problems. Okay. Green button. All right. Launch authorization. This is Kerbal Space Center counting down. Five. Okay, and then space bar. And space then... bar, and then bring it up to eighty percent. And oh no! Importantly, press T to turn on or toggle your SAS. So do that before anything else. T. Press the T. T. Yes. Got SAS. it. SAS. Got okay. it. Okay. Now, pre war you can bar. see yes oh, this one no. there we go yay okay now look at this you are flying and it is steering for you oh that's such a relief yeah now just watch that you don't overheat down here oh um, like maybe you want to press press control just to throttle back a touch oh it's over does that mean it's overheating yes yeah, so you want to press okay. control to a little just control to, yeah okay. there okay that's better so now you're Still just go overheating. Yeah, but you know it's cooling down actually. It's only if it gets to the top they explode and you've lost yourself a rocket. It's kind of wobbling a little. It bit. is wobbling a little bit, you know, thanks to uh, those little control surfaces you put on. It's so now we're straight. actually going to go somewhere. Well, hopefully we're going to go somewhere. We're going to see. Um, we're going up. That's where we're going. Okay. Now, when these fuel tanks run out, you can well, see the I've... fuel running. Why don't you turn around and take a look at this wonderful planet from the sky? With you the can, arrow keys? You can use the right key mouse button, or you can use the arrow keys oh, to look okay. around. Yeah, drag it with the right... Oh, see. Yeah, you see? So you can take a look at this marvelous planet you're departing. The planet Kerbin, the Where third planet of the Kerbal system. A... Home to the Kerbals. This is a big forest we're on top of. Uh, yeah, maybe. So you're about to run out of fuel here, so... Uh -oh. No, that's okay. You probably want to press space. Not just yet. See when okay. this stops? Mm -hmm. Press space. There, press space. Okay. Now you've jettisoned these. Okay. Now do I have to do something? Well, wow, it seems to be spinning a lot. Yes, it is. Okay, so what you... Oh, look. Yeah, yeah, he, what... He's looking kind of... He's looking kind of... Okay. Why is this Bill. thing spinning like oh, an insane thing? Oh, they changed my pilot this time. Oh yeah, you get Bill this time. Yeah, the other guy probably <laughs> didn't want to fly with me. Anymore. Okay, so now you're going upwards. We're not going to fire this engine yet. We're going to try. We're going to have to get under some control here. So press T to disable your thing, okay. and you're going to press D just now. Uh huh. Just once. And a little, hold it longer. Okay. Because you, you're going to bring yourself over. Right, let go. Let go. And pu press S. What you're going to do is move that onto the horizon, right? Let go. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets to the horizon, press T again. Quick, 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 quick. Press T. Okay. okay, now throttle up. Oh, press space, actually. Space. There, so now you're going to actually go into orbit, assuming you don't crash into some piece of debris from your own spacecraft. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, let's see what happens. Press... Um, you're up at 70 kilometers. So if you press M, you can see the map. Yeah. And actually, you might not make it into orbit just yet. Oh, darn. Darn. Yeah, you're, you're going that way, but you're probably not going to get all the way there because you took a while to adjust your orbit. But you tried. You really tried. Um, tried. Yeah, you see this? This is your yeah. vertical speed indicator. And it is going down. Mm. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. Well, we'll see. You know, you're up. You're up eighty kilometers almost. That's, uh, That's quite so a way. So much better than I was doing. Yeah, uh, I mean, you're not actually picking a particularly good um, orbit vector or anything, but you probably don't know what an orbit vector is, do you? No. no. Um, it's just like a direct. Think of a vector as a direction. Okay. It has direction it's and good magnitude. To have a direction. Yes, Victor. My flappy things are really like yeah, they're not they're happy. no, they're they're happy. They're just working very hard, especially considering uh, that you're in space. Right. They're just like working so hard, futile. They are futile. Working mm -hmm. with. They have a large amount of futility. How do I express that statement? So you want to get up I to? I still have a lot of fuel. Yeah, I yeah, know you have more than enough fuel to get into orbit. You just might want to. I, I, you know, I would normally 
you might want to press T here and then push W for a few seconds and then press T again. And then press T again. Quick, quick, quick! T, T, T! Uh oh. Oh, did I mess yeah. up here? No, you're just going to overdo your, your orbit correction here. This might stop you falling back into the atmosphere though, so, you know. Okay. Yeah, what we're doing is you are falling down too fast, so we've actually lifted your nose up, so some of the thrust will now stop you going to orbit. Now you want to um, press T again and push S to flatten your trajectory again. Oh, but and what am I going for? Press T again. Uh, not yet. Oh, you want to get a little closer to the horizon. Okay. Bring it, press it, do it again. T, T. and then S. S. Am I waiting? You want to go to that. Get it to that green circle. You didn't push it. Push it a little harder. Oh, okay. Hold nope. it or? No, and what? T and yeah, to turn it, it off and then S. And then press T when you get across the horizon. Oh, oh wait, you want me to get okay. T. Yeah. Um, you know what? I would now press X. Like, uh, oh, T. Yeah, I'd now press X. Quick. What does that do? Oh, that turns wait. off your engines. I'm just floating you, around now. You're now floating around on X to C. Don't stop me now, as they say. <laughs> uh, press M. Okay, where does that do? That might show. Okay, oh, so you. Yes, yeah, so you can see your your orbit. Look, you kind of have an orbit, but you're not quite in orbit. You see that? Okay. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so now here's going to be the hard part. If you click on this point here, mm -hmm. at, at this is the bit that's AP, that is Apple Apps. Okay. Add a maneuver. You have eight minutes before you reach this. Okay. So see the little green one on the right? Mm -hmm. Pick that up and drag it sideways to the right. No, to the right. There. Oh, let go. Let go. Let go. The, there you go. So that will put you into an orbit. Okay. Now here's the really hard part. Press M. Okay. So somewhere on your nav ball there is a blue marker showing you which way you need to burn your mission should you choose to accept it is to find it there it is there see it on up the top well, so press t my mission just got completed by you no no i told you where it is press t you gotta find it t. right now find that blue thing and press and and lock onto it using the wasd keys um Okay. Press. Remember when you get very close to it, press T to, like, stick it in place. Uh, remember to compensate. You keep your wait. your inertia yeah. keeps you moving. Oh, wait, go back the other way. You. <laughs> no. That's okay. You only have seven <laughs> minutes spinning. and twenty seconds. Okay, wait. Um, is yeah, it real time? Yes, it's real time. I mean, you know, once you actually get Just it. Just let it go around. But should I help it? Um, that's up to you. Okay. You know, whatever strategy works. I wouldn't. You're gonna make it go faster, oh. huh? Oh. You have more than two controls. There it yeah, is again. Oh. I would press D to like stop your rotate. Oh D. Oh no, that works. That works. Wait, <laughs> you press T. I, just, I did, and no, then you told me to press D. Because I was thinking the way I was thinking, not the way that you were oh, thinking. Okay. Do my do my D's and T's sound like the same thing? No. Okay. I just did what you told me to do. Okay. It's the wrong thing. So just try... Right, so here's the thing. When you're holding that, you're accelerating... T stops it, right? T is like the brake, but it'll take a while to stop it. Oh, there it. it is. Wait. Go back that way. Oh! Yeah, it might... It doesn't it'll, stop. Yeah, because it has a lot of inertia. It'll stop. It'll just take a really long time. Oh. It has inertia. It's like a car. It's like when you hit the brakes, you don't immediately stop, do you? I know, but now I can't. I'm nowhere near it. Yeah, but it's it's rotating back because it remembered where you pressed T. Huh. It's saying I'm gonna go back and point to what she told me to point at, right. with its giant pointy rockety type oh, thing. Okay. Look, and it's gonna oscillate back the other way, and it could take a while to figure this out. See, uh, you've you kind of got this into space. Um, cool. But I'm not gonna. I'm not. You know, you still have to figure out how to complete this burn. Bill looks nauseous. Yeah, he's not hes not the bestest of the, the Corbinauts. <laughs> and, and, and then again, he's also in this spacecraft that's kind of wobbling back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, getting space sick is surprisingly common. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a reason that their zero-g simulator plane is called the Vomit Comet. 
Yeah, well, these guys are already green, so... Yeah, what, what color do Kerbals turn when they feel sick? Probably turn pink. Turn pink, yes, like fleshy pink things. Yeah, you're you're really oscillating there. I don't yeah, know how you're going to... Yeah, really settling down. It is, it is very, but it is very slowly. I don't know if you're going to get close to your thing. Should I do anything? Uh, you could push W when you're... At the, I don't know, you're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I, I know what I would do, but there's no fun in that. Look, there's Wait, a... A is accelerate? No, A is, a is uh, yaw. Yaw, pitch, and roll. Come on, it's the three basic okay. rotations in, in 3D... S ah. And T. Oh, I'd stop it quick. I did, I pressed T. No, why did you press T? You turned it off. <laughs> now it's going to rotate back the other way. I would press T now, right? And then as it gets close, press it again. It's okay, you only have four minutes now. The yellow thing, or the little marker? Yeah, that's the prograde marker. And that's where it will, the blue marker is where it will be when you actually get to the point where you need to make your burn. It seems like it's, it's settling down. Yeah, that's because I'm telling you to turn this thing on and off at the right time. But you're going to have to know, uh, you're going to have to push, you know, once you get close to there, you're going to want to press the D, or turn it off and then press D to kind of shift over. And then, You'll lock it again. Yeah. Should I hold D down? No, no, you should actually have to press... Once you stop... Press T now. There, now press D. Okay. Hold it a little more. D, D? D, yeah. Hold it until you see yourself moving. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay. Now press D okay. quick. Oh, dear, oh. dear, dear. There, God. you see? It's like an acceleration. You could press A to counteract it, right? You know, it's like you turn your car on the highway and it starts to go into the wall. Right. Well, you, you turn it back, right? In the car, I'm pretty good, but in those driving games, not so good. Well, you know, that um, they those driving games are played with uh, poor analogs, typically. Come okay, on, we're so getting very close. Okay, so you got to turn D, off your D and then T? and T T is T? T turn off your turn off your SAS again. T. So uh, A and S. A. And S. Keep. A, S. Oh, actually, uh, D and S. D and S. <laughs> D and S. I don't know what S. this is doing, though. It's pushing you towards that blue thing. That blue marker is hold your ticket to an orbit. Don't oh. hold it down too much. Let it go. Left. S. Uh, actually, you're getting pretty close. I would just, you know what? I would just take that and be done with it. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Let's um okay. let's time accelerate and I'll just push the time accelerate keys to get you close. Um There we go. Okay, so now it says 18 seconds and and you're going to have to throttle up in a few seconds. Ready to throttle up using the shift key? Mhm. Mm okay. Throttle up. Okay. Just nope. No, 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 throttle up with the shift key. No, throttle. Shift, not space. Shift. Yes. There we go. Now we got to get our our velocity. Will head up to be about twenty three, twenty two fifty, and then press X to cut your engines. Uh, X, yes. Oh. M, press M. I think you're in orbit now. Hey, now let's see. Where where is it? Yeah, you're totally in orbit now. Cool. Yes. We made it. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I'm so, brilliant. You're obviously brilliant. Yes, look, you're in a 500 by 181 kilometer orbit. That is is. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big either big one. Well, you know, we could pr try bringing it back if you want. Oh, look, we missed sunset in space. We have to go and see sunrise. Let's go and see sunrise. So time accelerate once more. Look at that, you can see the world spinning silently beneath you, appreciating the majesty of nature that you're about to crash into again, at least <laughs> once you come back from space. There's oh, the sun, oh, how beautiful. beautiful, yay. Okay, so to bring it back, you know how, what we are gonna have to do. Oh, well, to press bring- Press M. I, press M? Why are you gonna have mm. to press M? I don't know, map. Now, now to bring it back, 
I'll, I'm going to do this for you. You get a turn. So here's the thing. You push the buttons to start the turn and then you watch it moving towards it. Very slowly. And I'm just going to adjust it a little. I'm doing this for you since this isn't so hard. And we'll just press T again, right? And that's you locked in. So here's the thing. You can actually fire your engines from the map screen. So now I would throttle up your engines again and watch to see when the orbit comes back to the planet Corbin. Okay. So yeah, try and do that. Try and make it land on land. And there's a reason for this. So shift is your throttle. Shift. That's right. Shift, yeah. not space. Shift, not space. Just one time? Well, it's it's, it's going up. up. You see that we're actually, our orbit is changing. Oh, I see. Okay. So what we're going to, but you might want to do it more. You might want to maybe, I don't know how much you want to do it. Get ready to press X though when you see that you're landing somewhere. Like, oh, okay. Try not to land in the water with this thing. <laughs> There's a reason. X! X, X. Okay, you might be landing in the water there. <laughs> um, yeah, you're probably going to land in the water there. <laughs> You know what you could do? I'm just going to help you out here. I'm going to make you go north. At least if I can find it. We're just going to shift your orbit just north. I, I'm turning the wrong way as well. What is it? Your 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 ways are infecting my my things. My, you know, brain things. <laughs> what do you call them? Brain skills. Oh, yeah. My skills ores are being... There, that should be fine. That that that'll be you. So now, now you're coming back. You can time accelerate. Use uh, the dot and the comma key to time accelerate. That makes time go God, faster. Like that's so simple. Yeah, make thing time go faster. And again, appreciate the view from space. Faster! We need more speed. We must get back. Return. Faster. Do I need to hit? No, them? you need to keep hitting them. Like. Hey, oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Ah, now you're coming down. Oh. There you go. And... Wait, yeah, that looks like Cape Cod over there. It does. Um, Sorry, well, it's out of shot now. Out of shot. Oh, well. Uh, it's not Cape Cod. Unless it's spelt with a K. <laughs> Being the way this game is. Uh... Yeah, you're Did just I falling. Have to do anything? Well, you have a parachute. It might. Uh, it'll probably. How do you pee? It looks like it's already deployed. Pee? You de oh. you actually fired your parachute while you were in orbit, and you completely forgot about it. Uh. Which is good because it means you don't need to worry about it on the way back down. Look at this! This magnificent chariot of the gods is burning up with the heat of the atmosphere. Uh. It's a good uh. thing that's only a visual no. effect. No. Ah, look at that! Does Bill talk? I mean. Um. He talks, but he speaks Spanish backwards. Oh. There's your parachute uh, saying, out there. Ah! Yes. Oh. Ah! It's a nice parachute. Yeah, it is. It's very it's really heat resistant. Out. Yeah, really heat resistant. Um, that's just when it's not fully deployed. That's what it does. And you're slowing way down. I think I think you might actually survive here, unless. Wow. Do you think NASA's going to call me up? Um, only to say you should never <laughs> fly rockets. I don't know. I mean, it's not like a Valentino well, turn. This part of the real thing. Like you're like, okay, welcome to NASA. Use your W key <laughs> to get your. Yes, it, no, it, NASA. Right NASA has a use for the W key. Did you know that all NASA computers, when you push the W key, it makes the letter W on the screen. Okay. You see. It's it's it you the letter W is universal. There we go. I wonder I wonder if this thing will snap apart. Would you want to place a bat? Hmm. No. Well, it'd be more fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know. Hey, that totally worked. You didn't even have a separator. <laughs> this is beginner's luck. Yeah, look, there's the rest of the rocket smashing into the ground. Watch it. It's gonna land. I can't see it. Get that parachute out of the way. No, it's there. Hey, that's uh, the rest of the rocket disposed it's very of. Tiny. You, you did make sure that you you left the garbage in that one, right? Yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some sort of inside 
No, no, no. You know, astronauts and garbage and stuff like that. That's you. You successfully completed the mission. Do okay. you feel like an astronaut? No, not really. No, oh, that's good because you wouldn't make a great one. Oh. Yes, I oh. definitely don't want to poop in, poop in a suit. You, poop in a suit. Well, they, they actually have to poop in bags. Yeah. I don't want to poop in a Have bag I told either. you the story about pooping in bags and having to squish it? To okay, we're not going to talk about that. But that's that was, you know, the real heroes of space travel. That's what they did, you know? Okay. Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, you're pooping in bags. Okay. I, you know. I, that, let's please not leave on that note. Okay, well, what note shall we leave on? I don't, just tell me how great I am. You're awesome. <laughs> I love you, honey. Uh, yeah. mm, I'm Scott Manley. Mm, Fly I safe. Like you too. Bye. I think I'll keep you. <laughs>